welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll explain you example of fourier series coefficient and to explain it we have a question and the question is find fourier series coefficient of given signal where you can see this is what given signal to us where there is impulse train and that impulse train is having magnitude 4 and if you see the timings of that impulse train then that impulse train is having timing from 0, 5, 10, 15 in positive and minus 5, minus 10, minus 15 in negative infinity direction. So the question is find Fourier series coefficient. Now see we have already seen how to have Fourier series coefficient and Fourier series coefficient a n in exponential Fourier series we can say that a n is 1 by t integration t 0 to t 0 plus t x t into e to the power minus j n omega 0 t dt. This is what the basic formula which we have. And if I place t 0 as minus t by 2 then you will be finding this formula will changes to 1 by t minus t by 2 to t by 2 and x of t that is see impulse train and this impulse train is having magnitude 4 first I'll make it generalize and then you will be observing so here if I say a into delta t so we are a is 4 and delta t that is having sequence which is having distance of 0 to 5 10 like that right into e to the power j n omega 0 t dt. Now see when you have any functions integration this is not continuous function first of all. So this is impulse function. So integration of impulse function integration of impulse function that will be unity only. So whatever term that you have, if you integrate it with in impulse function, then it will be unity. As area of impulse function, that will be unity. So here we do integration. And in that integration, we have impulse function. So all we need to do is, we just need to place t is equals to 0 in that term. And one can have the final value. So... To have final value of this we don't need to do anything we just need to place 1 by t this function is a into e to the power j n omega 0 t this integration is there where we need to place t is equals to 0. So if you do this you will be finding e to the power 0 that is 1 so that will be a by t and here amplitude of impulse that is 4. So answer for this question that is 4 by t is you can see gap in between two impulses that is 5. So I should write it is 4 by 5. So this coefficient value that is 4 by 5. So our option answer is a that is 4 by 5. So you will have to take care of this when you integrate impulse function it should be having value at t is equals to 0 and then just place it and here this is what generalized calculation a by t but for this particular equation amplitude is 4 and time bdr in between two successive impulses phi so 4 by phi that is what answer generalizes a by t i hope that you have understood thank you so much for watching this video